But if you want thrills, we couldn't do much better than going back to 1996. Because in 1996, there was a movie released that thrilled many people. A great movie, Twister. And I think we should talk about Twister a little bit. Because, well, there might be another movie, a little bit like it, that came out this this month. Amber, Twister. How's that movie make you feel? Oh, 1996. I was but one. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, Twister. I love Twister so much. It was such a classic. I watched it growing up. Again, you guys know, Grandpa loves disaster movies. So that was on the list. But this is also a disaster movie that Grandma could get behind as well. It was also because we were all from an area of Texas that happened to be Tornado Alley. Mm. (laughs) So I think tornadoes were kind of always a part of our lives, which was interesting um, to think about now. I I never thought about that as a kid, but now I look back and think, oh, that probably did have something to do with the fact that, you know, we had to worry about stuff like that. (laughs) But no, it was a great film. Very nostalgic. The not, you know how like everyone's trying to come back with the '90s fashion, mm. they just can't quite get it. This movie reminded me of that. Just how, like, I don't know, just, just the nostalgia of the 1990s and filmmaking during that time. Now I hadn't seen it for a long time, but we sat down to watch it again the other day, and it was only the the standard version. That there's a new version being released. Uh, I think now or soon, that's got a full Atmos soundtrack. And I'm going to imagine that's amazing. But we watched it in in DTS, in our home cinema. And this is such an entertaining movie. A lot better than I remembered as well. I remembered liking it, but watching it again, some of these movies are not as good as you remember. This was probably better than I remembered. So you're right, uh, Jan de Bont directed this. And Jan de Bond is probably best known for Speed, which is another fantastic movie that probably holds up better than we think. I've never seen it. You've never seen Speed? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I've never seen Speed. I know of it and I know what it's about, but I've never seen it. Did I just blow your tiny little mind? You blew my tiny little mind. <laughs> You've never seen Speed? No, I haven't. I'm sorry. Please tell me that you haven't seen Speed and you certainly also haven't seen Speed 2. No. Oh, that's okay. Because don't watch Speed 2. Right. If you'd watch that one first, I'd find it hard to convince you to watch Speed. (laughs) Okay. You've not seen Speed? No, I really haven't. No. People are going to be like leaving us now thinking, how can this woman talk about movies if she hasn't seen Speed? Okay. Well, we're not talking about Speed right now, babe. We're talking about Twister. Okay. But Speed is now going on our watch list. Okay. And I am totally pulling that out. You're going to love Speed. Will I? Oh, this is the one with... The bus. Yes, the bus. And this is the movie that he fell in love with her on. I, I really haven't seen this movie, but I do know exactly what happens and I know what it is. But oh, no. It's okay. I'm Right, we're going to watch that. Okay. Okay. Anyway, back to Twister. Uh, yeah, the same director. The cast is incredible. Who stood out to you from the cast of of the original 1996 Twister? So, you know, Helen Hunt has a special place in my heart. And mine. um, From the show that we've been watching. Mad about you. Mad about you. So it was really nice to see her in a big role like that. And it was so good to see people like Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, Who's the guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Cameron. What's his name? Alan Ruck. Yes, Alan Ruck. It was cool to see him in a little small role. But, like, they were such big characters in the movies that they each stood out and had their own persona. And we knew who they were. And They're I really loved They're really well-defined. Yes, yeah. well-defined. That's a great, great term. So you've got Bill Paxton, who has since died. You've got Helen Hunt. Philip Seymour Hoffman, who's also since died, sadly. I mean, the whole cast is excellent across the board. But what surprised you about re-watching Twister? What surprised me? That's a good question. I think what surprised me was how well developed the relationships in the film were. Mm-hmm. The kind of rocky relationship between 
Bill Paxton's character and Helen Hunt's character, the, I don't know, well-rounded relationship of the fiance. I just... I really appreciated the development of all of these characters and how and how well they knew each other, how like childhood friends you could tell they were. Mm. Oh, how they all loved the auntie because they go there for meals. Mm. Yes. I mean, I thought with the, the fiance character, the brilliant thing is the fact that they don't make her unlikable. They actually make her more and more likable throughout the movie because you think oh, normally new love interest, we're going to root for the person that is the main character that we love. And we're going to reject her. We're going to think that she's annoying or not right for him. But at no point do they quite do that. Maybe she's not the best for him, but she wasn't wrong. She's not bad. She's not annoying. And she was never rude. They were no. never rude to her. They all, they let her, they... They treat her really well. They did. They made sure she was right along with them, that she felt safe. Like, it was just, it was a nice, like, the relationships in the film were so well built that mm-hmm. it is... That was a really surprising aspect that I never thought about growing up watching it. Now, there's also famous scenes in there, such as the the drive-in movie theater. Oh, yes. Now, the movie on screen is the Kubrick classic, The Shining. Yeah. Just recently, in the last couple of weeks, uh, the actress from The Shining, Shelley Duvall, she passed away. You know, I knew her. You knew her? I did. She was from Blanco, which is where... Where you grew up. Where I grew up. It's not where I'm from, but I... She's... She lived in Blanco. Sadly, she became kind of um, mentally unwell, I think. She just had lots of mental health issues untreated, I think. And I talked... I had one conversation with her at the Blanco Ice House... (laughs) And it was the most interesting conversation I have ever had to this day. Wow. Would you like to divulge with us a little about that conversation? Yes. She was trying to warn me about the government and how they were listening and the aliens were also listening in on conversations through the barbed wire fences. Okay. And how... We needed to cover them with foil as well as our own heads with foil. Right. She Jen, And it's not like this was for real for her. Like it was sad because, I, <laughs> you know, you always hear about the tinfoil alien people. They're crazy. Yeah. But that was real for her. Right. And so it was sad to see someone who I never really knew much of her other stuff. Like I never watched The Shining, but I did see... Popeye? Popeye, her in olive oil, uh, mm. her as olive oil. And so it was kind of sad to see someone who had been a nice, cool actress go downhill so fast. But she was kind of the town legend. Like, everyone knew who Shelley Duvall was. Everyone knew what she drove, mm. what her car looked like. It was just... It's interesting when you run into movie stars in your local town. I mean, where we live now, that there were two in town. Uh, one of whom was in Monty Python's Life of Brian. Uh, and then she became the town mayor. Uh, the other of whom is Taryn Egerton, who I've not run into around town, but everyone else has. But for you to have that kind of interaction with such a, a famous actress known for such an iconic movie as The Shining, which is so iconic, it's then used in films like Twister as something that people will recognize instantly. That's a really fascinating thing to know. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's my little thing with Shelley Duvall. <laughs> Sorry, I feel bad that she passed away, but it was from untreated medical conditions, wasn't it? It was uh, complications from diabetes, I believe, yeah. Yeah. If you saw her on the streets of Blanco, even though everyone in Blanco knew who she was, you would never recognize her as Shelley Duvall, which is, again, very sad. 